next question is grade 17 question that is we, we are having a, uh, one LTI system and our input is XT is equals to this much and uh, this is impulse response of the system and YT is the output then we have to find out the maximum value of the mod of YT so just first thing is this is just a LTI system that is XT, ST and YT so as per the definition output should be the convolution of XT and HT and in the frequency domain YF is equal to XF multiplied by HF this is the first thing and uh, we have to find out again the YT and uh, then find the maximum value of YT mod ok now this is XT so input what will be the XF that will be just take the Fourier transform of this one that is its frequency is 100 2 pi f and this is 200 ok now we can write it as a DL f plus 2 f plus 100 plus DL f minus of 100 and that will be divided by 2 plus 8 DL f plus 200 plus del f minus 200 and divided by 2 okay. so then we draw the diagram of 100 and 200 and uh, this is the diagram and uh, this is the uh, equation and what will be the hf so hf is because st is this one ok so main thing is here because it is the ht and uh, you can write it as a 2 of sine of 300 pi t and it is divided pi t so just divide 300 here 300 pi t and also make it as a 2 into 300 ok so we can write this particular part as a because it is the definition of sink 2 into 300 and this one is the sink function but in the form of 300 t so the main thing for the ST is this one because we are having the ST is equals to 600 sink of 300 of T right so its Fourier transform will be because in the previous videos we have discussed about the sink of F so basically the Fourier transform of sink of F is sink of T is rectangle of F and when sink of tau is there then it will be divided by tau so that will be 300 600 and when we take the Fourier transform this 300 will be divided and sink uh, Fourier transform of sink function is rectangle of t and f by 300 will be divided okay so that become 2 rectangle of t 2 rectangle of f upon 300 so when we make the diagram of this hf what will be like that because it is a rectangular function this is a rectangular function its amplitude is just 2 and its limits basically the limit of the rectangle function is minus 1 by 2 1 by 2 but it is divided by 300 so it is multiplied by 300 so 300 divided by 2 0 300 divided by 2 so it is just a 150 in negative and this is the 150 in positive and this is the F and this one is the HF right and that was the XF and for getting the output we should multiply XF and HF right so just denote the XF also this is 0 and XF has a band at 100 and its amplitude will be 4 divided by 2 is 2 and 1 band will be at 200 and its amplitude will be 4 this is F and 1 will be at minus 100 amplitude will be 2 1 at at the minus 200 amplitude will be 4 and this one is we are drawing from the XF when we multiply XF and HF because HF has a bandwidth of 150 only 150 this side and 150 this side that means this much minus 150 here and plus 150 here when we multiply both the functions like this okay 
when you multiply both the functions then you will get this part only you will get this part only that means it is just passing only one signal that is yt is equals to 4 cos of 200 pi of t it is just passing 4 cos of 2 pi into t so this is 2 and this one is the 4 so final answer is yf is equals to yf is equals to because it, its original function was the 4 and amplitude is 2 so 2 into 4 cos of 200 pi of t so finally your answer is mod of y of t is just a 8 so answer is 8 for this question answer is 8 ok thank you